Hi guys! I have the Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart collection here to share with you guys. American Crafts sent me this whole collection uh, a couple of weeks ago and I have been so excited to get to play with it and we recently took a trip to the zoo so I'm really really excited to use some of these pages. Uh, this color scheme is totally my jam. I love fall and uh, I don't often get to scrapbook with fall type of colors like with dark earthy tones and I really really love this collection because it's bright which I really love but it's also a nice earthy kind of a bright instead of a white kind of overexposed kind of a bright. It's a nice earthy dark bright and I love 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 it. I guess you might call them gem tones or royal colors or whatever you want to call them. They're really really beautiful and in my opinion not enough scrapbooking companies make these kinds of color schemes. Now I understand that they're not quite as popular so uh, the companies are going to make what we buy um, but I just love that these are not just, you know, teal and white and pink. There's nice uh, other colors in this in this collection. So I'm going to start by showing you guys the paper. And this one is called Jungle of Love. <laughs> I love this one with the little tigers that are hidden amongst the flowers and the leaves. I love this blue color. It's not quite a navy blue. It's a really beautiful blue. The other side is this beautiful dotted, it looks like an animal print type of a dot, with the strip has this burgundy reddish, it's not really burgundy, it's kind of like a reddish orangey color, it's really pretty. This is one of my favorite, co my favorite uh, papers in the collection, it is this kind of mosaic I guess of hearts, it's really beautiful and it reminds me of an animal print, it's so pretty and I love the ombre effect from yellow to orange to red to purple to green, uh, it's just so so beautiful, love it. This one is called Love Wins, then the other side is this uh, it reads as a solid, but if you look at it up close, it's actually all these little orange tick marks on a maybe a raspberry-ish kind of a red and the, the manufacturer strip is a really nice coordinating print as well. This one is called Pleased to Meet You and it has all these big giant jungle leaves all over it. They look hand drawn and they're on, I guess, like a pinkish type of a neutral background. Really pretty, I love this color blue. Some really unique, beautiful blues. And speaking of how much I love this beautiful blue, the other side is a solid, but it has some distressing, almost like, um, it looks like it's painted. It has a painterly look. Arrows along the bottom. This one is called Go Places, and it has lots of little drawn airplanes in yellow and pink, and then some fluffy clouds in between them. That's so nice. Love it. Go places. And then this one looks like yellow notebook paper, like those notepads that you can get. Love this. I really love this. Here's a cut apart sheet. It's called The Little Things and it has some cut aparts. It has this one that says together is the best place to be and then some banners, uh, some journaling cards and some other things and some strips here as well. The other side is paper clips on a pink background. And the paper clips have almost like a primary colors. There's more than just the primaries there, but it looks very schoolish. So these ones would be really great back to school papers. And then this one is all tigers. Some of them have black stripes and some of them have red stripes. Facing in different directions. Love this paper, it's really cool. And then this one is like a crosshatch. It almost looks like a basket weaving kind of a pattern and it has these leaves along the bottom. What was this one called? It's called Hear Me Roar. Great name. Oh, I love this, pa this paper. So this is called The Right Path, and it does look a lot like cobblestone paths. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful mosaic with circles. Oh, I really love this one. Love the color combination. I like how it combines some beautiful rich tones with some nice light pastel colors really really pretty. This paper makes it really uh, easy for you to pull in some lighter colors if you're used to, to scrapping with a, with a lighter color scheme. 
And then, uh, speaking of a lighter color scheme, then we have a bit of relief from the dark colors, and that's important in a collection. Uh, we have this tealy, minty, greeny color of little uh, hash lines. And then the bottom strip is pink with gold dots. This, I love a black and white, a bold black and white diagonal stripe. This is gorgeous. I love this. Uh, I think every collection should have a nice bold black and white uh, pattern in it, and this is it. This one is called In Alignment, and it has a hand painted look to it. And then the other side is an animal print, pink with that kind of strawberry, or raspberry, I guess, reddish pinky color. Um, the other side. Then we have Coming Up Roses. I love the name of this one and this color scheme is just fabulous. I love the contrast of the blue and green and red in this page. I just love it. And I love, for me, I really love a casual floral pattern and the hand-painted look of this one is really quite casual and beautiful. I love this. Love it. The other side is another version of that same hash mark paper, and I adore this page. This would make such a nice mat. It would make a nice, uh, calm chunk of paper that you could add to your layers to kind of calm down some of the uh, busyness of the other patterns. Love this one. This one is called In a Row, and it has all these strips, and some of them are, well, they all have similar color schemes to the other papers, but some of them we see uh, repetition of some of the patterns that we've already seen. And these really cute sweaters are adorable. And I love the apples and pears. That would also be really great for back to school. And these slices of pie. Oh, I love that. <laughs> the other side is a plain pink color that looks like it's been painted. So you can see these brush marks in it. And then a row of tigers at the, oops, a row of tigers at the bottom. Coffee cups on a red background. Love it. I love that one of the cups has a tea bag hanging out of it, or actually two of them do. Really cute. Makes this paper doable for coffee lovers or for tea lovers. We've got a uh, grid pattern, like a crisscross grid pattern on the other side in that beautiful turquoise color. Really nice. This looks good in small doses. So it looks nice, you know, peeking out under things. This one is called Oh So Lovely, and it's a, like an abstract pattern of paint swatches and dots. It's really nice. It kind of pulls in a lot of the colors in the collection. And then the other side is all of these what look like hand doodled O's or hollow circles. It's very funky looking. That would also look nice peeking out from behind something. Then we have another set of cut aparts. These are a bunch of squares. This one is called Fit to be Square. And it has some images and also some phrases that you could use for titles or for journaling. This would look really cute used in Project Life. And then we have this really gorgeous and unexpected, uh, really bold vertical or horizontal line. And I like these stripes because instead of white, they're really light pink. And I don't often see this beautiful, rich golden yellow paired with a really, really pale pink. So that's what makes this pattern really unexpected. And I really like it. I don't know if that's going to make it hard to use because it's so unexpected, but it might be a really nice way to tie in, again, some of these rich colors with the pastel colors, which is, to me, that's a really interesting idea for scrapbooking. I usually either go all rich gem tones or I go all lighter or all brighter colors. So this, this, this paper and a couple of other ones that I pointed out are really nice uh, combinations of color that are interesting that we haven't really seen very much of before. 
Uh, this one is called Across the Waves, and it has a real watery feel to it with different colors of blue. Again, we're combining some of the lighter pastel colors with some deeper, darker colors. And here's uh, the other side does the same, has the same color combination, but adding white, it just brightens it up quite a bit with really cute hearts at the bottom. Then we have another floral and it has a real jungly feel to it with these large leaves. It's nice casual floral, I like that. And then another black and white pattern. This one has like white scribbly lines on a black background. This is really nice. This will be nice to use for accents. This one was called Floral for Sensation, if I didn't say that. Uh, this one is called Map It Out. It has this really funky patterned uh, map of the world where each continent has, or not not, all, not exactly the continents, but each chunk of land has a different pattern paper on it. It's really cute. Love it with all these travel related uh, scripted words. And then the other side has the rest of the world map here uh, with more travel themed words. A sheet of cameras. And these are really cute cameras. I like them. They're different than some of the other cameras that we've seen before. I like that they have dimension to them. And I love the coloring of them. These are going to be fun to cut out and use. It would also make a nice pattern paper, but I like cutting those sorts of things out. Now here we have another repeated pattern with little ovals. And there are light pink on that beautiful blue background that I like so much. I like that blue. That one was called Click Click. And this one is called The Bright Side. It has these broad strips of, pa of color. Love this. And I love that it has like a dark, a dark side and then a side that is, has more like highlighting on it. It's really beautiful. The other side is another page of hearts that give that impression of an, of an animal print, but not quite. And it's also ombre from dark to light this way. This paper is called Hello Sunrise, and it has this beautiful ombre effect from dark to light, but I really adore this pattern. It is this interlocking, I don't know, V-shaped pattern that makes it look like scales or feathers or gills or something. Really, really love this. And you could use it this way as well. And then it's, I guess it's kind of like a scalloped pattern. It's really beautiful. This might be one of my favorite colors, my favorite papers in the whole collection. The other side I almost forgot is this uh, stripe of uh, this raspberry color with the really light pink. It almost looks purple here. And that was called Hello Sunrise. The next one is called Stay Wild and it has some postcards on it. So wish you were here. Uh, greetings from the world and stay wild and then these uh, backs of, of, uh, of postcards and then we have a solid page here of that teal or turquoise color with some really cute pink on black hearts down here on the strip that's really nice this is a big collection. This one is called Patchwork Show, and it has a bunch of different sized and shaped patches. Well, they're all rectangles. Uh, some of them are squares, I guess. Uh, and th they're all different patterns that you could use to cut out or use for die cuts or whatever. And the patterns are slightly smaller than they are on the big papers, so that's kind of nice. Instead of getting like a little six by six pad, this is a nice way to have the option of punching out some shapes with the smaller patterns. This other side has this, the, uh, this raspberry type of red with blue lines in it. It's really nice. And then it has this vertical strip of pineapples. And I love these pineapples. And we're going to get to see those pineapples even more closely right here. So this one is called Sweet Sensation. And I love pineapples. I love to eat them. They're, one, they're my very favorite fruit. And I, I also just love them in design. So that's really fun to have. I like that it, they're small pineapples, so you could actually use this as a pattern paper and still appreciate the fact that they are pineapples. The other side is a beautiful pattern. 
and uh, it's just scribbly lines but I just love the coloring I love how the background is this beautiful deep golden color and then the scribbles are are a lighter yellow so pretty love that tone on tone look this one is called cut it out and it's a whole bunch of words and phrases that you could cut out in all the different colors that go along with the with the collection and they're of course in Amy Tangerine's beautiful brush script and writing and also on the other side are these black and white cutouts that are typewritten and you could use this as a pattern paper or you could cut out little strips of words that are relevant and make your own journaling strips or little accent strips captions and whatnot this would also be a great back to school paper I love that this collection has like a travel theme a zoo theme and a back to school theme all in the same uh, all in the same collection so these are pens, craft knives, colored pencils, and sharpeners, all kind of lined up to make this beautiful pattern from afar and then up close, it looks like this. It's called Take Note. And the other side is that same pattern, but in a blue and green color scheme. Really, really pretty. Look at how that looks up close. There we go. So those are the papers. Then there is a specialty paper as well. This is foil, a foil paper. I'm just going to open it up. It's called 12 by 12 foil. And it is a white cardstock with some of these beautiful patterns from the collection printed in a gold foil. It's really lovely. Love it. Now there are some really fun embellishments to go along with this collection. I'm going to start with these stickers because they really caught my eye. They have a real interesting, we've seen layered stickers before, but these ones are quite interesting. They're gold foil and vellum accents. So what I really love about it is how beautifully intricate they are. They look like handmade embellishments. They've got this, like a chipboard that has foil on it and this looks like a rose gold or like a it's a dark orangey gold it's probably not rose gold but um it's like a dark gold and then the vellum on it and then layered on chipboard and this one also like I love a typewriter that has actual typewritten paper on it in fact I often stick a little piece of paper right there just to to do that and I don't have to here it says write your own story little uh dimensional hearts this little paper clip has, or, or binder clip has some dimension to it. This one has a little vellum flag. These are just beautifully detailed and look at the little palette stands out. They're really beautifully detailed and the, the leaf is vellum and the earth here is vellum. They're just really gorgeous. I love these. These are called layered paper stickers and they're all kinds of awesome. And then I was so excited about these. These are inflated ephemera, and these are so cool. It's just nice to have something a little bit different to work with. And these are definitely accent pieces, so I probably would not use more than one on a page, although maybe. So they're little plastic inflated puffy embellishments. Look at them, they're just so cool and so interesting and different. Definitely not your standard scrapbooking fare, so I love that. Very nice. And you would not want to cut these little tabs off of this because these are inflated and they'll deflate as soon as you cut into them, so you'll have to leave, I'll have to leave those on. Then we have these wool half sticker, half circle stickers, and these are like a super textured version of large enamel dots. They're wool, and so they make me go a little <laughs> because I don't like the, the feeling of wool, but I love the look of wool. 
So look at the texture of those. They're just so fuzzy and beautiful. Love the coloration too. Really, really nice. Were they like that or like that? Doesn't really matter. I'll put them like that. Wool half circles. Very nice. Then we have these really adorable little faux suede bows. You guys know me, I love bows. Bows are one of my very favorite embellishments ever. So these, let me stick them on the sheet. I do like to unpackage everything as it comes into my scrap room because I'm more likely to use it if it's out of its packaging. It's easier to try it out and then stick it back on the sheet if you need to. So these are really cute. They have little bits of foam adhesive underneath to stick them onto your page and they have a gold foil center to them. They're really, really sweet and they feel like real suede, but it says that they're not. Love those. Such a tiny little delicate accent. Then we have, I'm just gonna kind of go through this. These are glossy puffy stickers. So these look like they would look really nice alongside those inflated items. I'm going to hang on to this so I can remember what those are called. So these are glossy puffy stickers and they would look really nice alongside these. They're a similar kind of plasticky material. In the colors that go along with the kit. Then we have wood veneer stickers. And these look like uh, gems. They have this dimension to them. They're painted wood veneer and they're uh, the thicker kind of wood veneer. With gold and uh, with gold and non-gold painted accents on them. Then we have a sticker book. It has eight sheets of stickers, 392 stickers in there. So let's just fairly quickly flip through them. These are transparent stickers. I think they're all transparent. So what that means is that if you overlap it with something, you'll be able to see the something behind it. Those little cameras are on the sheet. Some tags and a globe and some spools of thread, a type that cute typewriter, those pineapples that I love so much, the little teacup and some flowers. These are all icons, some travel related, eating, weather, um, some little people, and then some phrases. These are printed in a foil, like in a gold, shiny gold type of a print. A bunch of banners that you could layer these on or your own letters. A bunch of hearts, some of which are gold, different shapes, different sizes, and then this includes some white phrases as well as uh, the colored phrases. And then a letter sticker that is this beautiful outline gold letter sticker. Love that. That's really cool. Then we have die cut shapes. Hooray! Lately, I've been keeping my die cut shapes in these cases. And I keep them by collection until I'm finished with the collection and then I sort them into color and I have one of these cases for each color that I sort them into when I'm done. Oh, these are really, these are different than I thought they'd be. So these are die cut chip, like cardstock, but they're finished more like chipboard would be finished. So they have like a printed shinyish, shinyish, a printed shiny finish to them. See 
how they reflect. They're just slightly shiny. They're quite different than the die cuts that we usually get that are like flat and matte. So I'm not going to be able to show you every single one of them, but I just want to give you a sense of the quality of them. So there are some gold foil accents as well on this. So this has been the Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart collection. Thank you so much to American Crafts for sending me this. If you'd like to buy this collection, you can get it at any of your favorite scrapbooking stores. Uh, I think Paper Issues has it. If you're shopping at scrapbook.com or Simon Says Stamps, I have some affiliate links down below that you could use if you'd like to support my channel. Uh, take care and have a really great scrappy week. Wait a second, I forgot the best part. We have these, <laughs> the Lucky Ones, thickers. And these are thickers that, uh, these phrase and letter stickers. And I love them. They are foam. One side is gold foam with gold glitter on top of it. And then the other side is white foam. And I love these. It has phrases like family, love, stay wild, major heart eyes. Uh, sweet hun and moment. This one says life is beautiful, love the lucky ones today and yay. And it has all these cute little uh, symbols as well. Really, really beautiful. So that goes along with the collection. There are a few other pieces that go along with this collection. There's a beautiful white thicker uh, called Memento and there are some some clothes pins and tags and an embossing folder and a few other things that as well. So be sure to check those out while you're shopping. In the meantime, take care and have a really great scrappy week. Mm -hmm.